Welcome to my Tuesday afternoon video series. Each week I share a live performance from my night's tour with all of you. Mike Pinder and Ray Thomas for a while shared a lovely house to the southwest of London. And I would spend a lot of time there. I remember playing sitar with uh, Mike, who had a tambour, which is the resonant kind of version of the sitar. And Mike uh, was a lovely guitar player as well. And uh, so we would enjoy just playing together, just messing around and Ray on the flute as well. As usual, we stayed up all night. And then as the dawn was uh, breaking, Mike decided he was going to re record the dawn chorus in his garden of all of the birds slowly coming uh, to giving to giving their beautiful song and it 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 got tremendous it was a whole orchestra of a uh, songbird and i hope he still got the recording i went out that day and i walked through some water meadows that were near that house and I just took a 10 minute, 15 minute break to walk through these water meadows. And then I came back in my car to go back to my flat. And then I started writing this song. It was just sort of in my, in my mind. And this is another one of those songs that I used to do quite a lot where I put two songs together somehow that just seemed to work, but maybe they have different um, subjects. And the other part of the song references a book by uh, Jerry Rubin called Do It. That it's hard to, to tell now how influential this book was in the 1960s, but I'm sure his family know. And it was absolutely brilliant. And this song is called Dawning is the Day. to a truly wonderful musician and vocalist, recording artist in her own right, Julie Reagans.
Listen, we think we have found 